What differentiates humans from animals? Biologists classify humans as animals and part of the animal kingdom, like our nearest relatives, the apes. Humans are also mammals. Humans have evolved from apes, but there are features that differentiate us from others animals including apes. These include the upright walk, our opposable thumb, our special ability to communicate by a language, and our highly developed brain. Our brain allowed our ancestors, like the Neanderthals, to invent tools. Did humans evolve from the apes? Today, one can think of the apes and humans as cousins. They have common ancestors but have not descended directly from each other. About 5-7 million years ago, a line of man-like apes grew apart, and evolved independently of the other apes. The oldest, almost completely intact skeleton of an upright ancestor of human the Australopithecus was found in 1974 in Ethiopia. Africa. The scientists named it Lucy, who were the Neanderthals. The Neanderthals were people who lived 130,000 years ago but then died out due to unknown reasons. One theory is that other lines of humans were stronger and eliminated them. The Neanderthals were about 1.70 meters tall, had a heavily built body and were very powerful. They needed this power and strength to hunt woolly mammoths and rhinoceros with their homemade spears and knives. They made clothes of animal skins, lived in caves, and used fire. Their name is derived from the place where their remains were found, the Neander. Do animals use tools? Animals do make use of tools for getting food or for protecting themselves. Apes reach for sticks or stones when threatened. Sea otters break their favorite food, the shells with the help of stones, and a species of finches picks at insects from tree trunks, with a long cactus quill. For generations, the young ones of animals have watched the traits humans, on the other hand, may change their traits according to personal requirements. Humans advance and discover new things by adapting and learning. It is hard to believe that the hand axe made by prehistoric men out of stone has today given rise to sharp knives, chainsaws, and many other things. Is our brain bigger than that of dinosaurs? Dinosaurs had small brains, much smaller than the human brain. The dinosaur brain often weighed only a thousandth of their huge body mass. An adult human brain is about one-fifth of its body mass, on an average around 1,400 grams. Since the early hominid creatures, whose skeletons were found in Africa, the brain mass of humans has increased threefold. In comparison, the size of the brains of other mammals has hardly changed in the course of millions of years. What is so special about our thumb? Unlike other animals, our thumb is opposable, which means that it has free movement and can be placed opposite the fingers of the same hand. This helps us to grip things securely and lets us do delicate jobs like threading a needle. Our grooved fingertips prevent smooth things from slipping away. This movement of the hand combined with a freely moving shoulder joint and the upright posture, gave our ancestors a development advantage. Tools or weapons could be used for a specific purpose with great power. Why is drinking water important for humans? The human body is made up of 80% water, which is present in blood and other cells. Since we lose a lot of fluid through sweat, urine, and breath, we need to replenish it constantly. Drinking less water can cause immediate problems. The body cells become dry, and the skin wrinkles. Blood becomes thicker, and the heart has to make more effort to pump it through the body. Since the blood is responsible for transporting oxygen around the body, oxygen is not supplied adequately to the organs. The heart and the brain react immediately to a lack of oxygen they get damaged in just a few minutes. Why do we need blood? Our body consists of millions of cells, which must be supplied with water properly. This supply is the responsibility of the blood. The red blood cells transport vital oxygen, O, oh, around the body. The blood also absorbs nutrients from the digestive tract, distributes them to the organs, and in return, takes away the waste products from the organs. Blood contains platelets that seal the wounds and white blood cells that help us fight disease causing germs. How does the heart work? The heart, a hollow organ with four chambers, 
can be imagined as an unbelievably strong pump. It is about the same size as a fist. Electrical signals coming from the brain cause the heart muscle to contract about 70 times in a minute in an adult. The contractions are more frequent in children and while we are playing sports. These contractions pump the blood through the whole body through the circulatory system. This system consists of two types of vessels arteries with blood rich in oxygen and veins with blood poor in oxygen. While the arterial blood supplies oxygen to every cell in the body, the venous blood is sent to the lungs where the it is purified by removing the waste product carbon dioxide and absorbing new oxygen. Where does the oxygen in the blood come from? When we breathe, the oxygen reaches our lungs via the mouth, nose, and trachea. The lungs have a number of very tiny cavities known as air sacs which are covered by a network of very fine blood vessels. An exchange of gases takes place here. Impure blood reaches these capillaries and releases the waste gas carbon dioxide in the air sacs. This is exhaled out of the body, and freshly inhaled oxygen is absorbed into the air sacs. This oxygen is released into the blood via the capillaries. What are cells made of? The different cells of our body have very different tasks, but they are all similar in their structure. They have a cell wall or a cell membrane, which protects the inner matter of the cell and controls what goes in the cell and what comes out of it. The nucleus inside the cell controls all the processes in the cell. The energy for these processes comes from mitochondria the powerhouse of the cell. They are responsible for cell respiration. The endoplasmic reticulum takes care of the conversion of substances and for detoxifying the cells. All these organelles are embedded in the liquid cytoplasm inside the cell. If we drink less fluids, the cytoplasm will dry out and the cell may die. What are organs? Organs are parts of the body having specific tasks. An example is the intestine, in which food is broken down and the nutrients are absorbed in the blood. Another important organ is the liver, which utilizes the components of food. Other organs are the kidneys, the spleen, the heart, and our biggest organ, the skin. They are all made up of different kinds of tissues, such as muscular tissue, fatty or supportive tissue, and blood vessels. The tissue in each organ is specifically designed to perform the tasks assigned to that organ. Thus. The muscular tissue of the heart is different and performs different functions as compared to that in the upper thigh. Each organ interacts with other organs to keep the body healthy. 